<laughs> Hello, my friends. Welcome to Boozing with the Big Guy. Hi. I am the big guy, Ryback. I am your host this evening on this uh, show. We haven't done one of these in a bit. And I uh, haven't done a whining with the Ryback in a, in a while. We're going to have to do one of those here soon. Going to have to probably go get some wine stocked up with some hard liquor uh, for everything going on, along with a lot of food. And we're actually going to get a little more hard liquor because if things get a little bit crazy, crazy around here, the big guy's going to grow his hair out and do a little bit of Jesus Ryback YouTube videos daily, preaching positivity, letting myself just... Let it all grow, grow out. My hair grows really fast, actually, too. So, <clears throat> Not a Corona cough, easy. I've had a couple of these. What we're doing tonight, guys, is uh, Bon and Viv, the, 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 the Spike Seltzer. I'm going, I'm trying, there's all these seltzers. Who's messaging me now? Um, another, uh, I've done all the seltzers. I've done, I've done, what have I done? I haven't done all of them done White Claw. I've done the Bud Light Seltzer. I don't know if I've done Truly yet. I have had Truly though, but I don't know if I've done a YouTube video on them. And then we got Bon and Viv here tonight, which I got in my boozing with the big guy glass. We've got to eventually get these made for, uh, to sell. I'm not really, no, don't look at Teespring and see what they have. I haven't really, don't play around with that too much. I'm so busy with the supplements, but I'll see. If somebody like to get into the hot sauce game too. Make some hot sauces. Make make a feed me more heat. Something with the, that the uh, hot sauce because I feel like that's a nice little play. I got lime. What do we have on here? What I'll end up doing, guys. We're going to read some positive comments. This is pear elderflower. That's an odd name. This is Clementine Hibiscus. Okay, that's the game we're playing with these. And this is Cranberry. I feel like Cranberry will be my favorite. Well, I'm going to read. I got a few pieces of fan mail here. I haven't got fan mail. I got to go back. Actually, I forgot I had these sitting up there. I didn't get to them. And I uh, we got a bunch probably, and I got to go get. And... Uh, I'll shoot down there probably tomorrow. I'm doing a 24-hour fast after all this. So, Read some comments here, guys. There's a lot going on. I hope everyone's staying safe, staying healthy. We'll, uh, I think I'm going to end up doing a separate video on everything going on. And uh, not... And just, I think we've got to do our best to uh, adhere to everything going on. And talk about that another time. We're not going to, you know... But hopefully everyone's all right, and I think everything's going to ultimately be okay. As much as a, of a hit, I think the economy is is taking and going to take with this. We've got to just choose to focus on the positives. All right, first letter here is, Hey Ryback, my name is Rad, and I'm a real big fan of your channel. I'm not at all a wrestling fan, uh, but I find your videos very entertaining, especially the food, drink reviews, and your Q&As. YouTube recommended your channel to me. Several months ago when I started watching workout and fitness videos, I appreciate that you have insightful commentary throughout your review videos, and it's not just us watching you eat or drink. That's the point. He gets, this guy fucking gets it. Ugh, I love it when someone gets it. In several of your videos, you mentioned that you live in Las Vegas. I recently moved to Vegas from Chicago in 2017 to work for Metro, that's the police department here, shortly before the October 1st tragedy. As you could probably imagine, there are a lot of stressors in my line of work. I've seen and I've smelled things that nobody should ever experience. When I watch your videos, it helps relax me and take my mind off what I dealt with that particular day. My squad mates at work noticed that I was watching your videos throughout the day, and now they're all viewers of yours, too. Keep up the great work of your, on your channel. Wishing you the best on your recovery and that you're back to 100% soon. P.S. Please take this Metro patch as a token of my appreciation. I don't really have anything wrestling related to send you. If you want to call or email me, that would be awesome. Well, Rad, you're on one of the videos, and you I actually have the badge right here, and I want to personally say thank you very much for everything that you guys do. Las Vegas has changed uh, a lot since I and I was born and raised here um, with everything, with the sports teams here and the, the influx of people coming from all over. And so uh, and, and I have no doubt 
that your guys' job and, and the stress that you go through on a, on a daily, nightly basis. And I will, I will save this and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually put this in my podcast studio. Uh, I greatly appreciate this a lot. And uh, hopefully everything, with everything going on here, um, remains cool, calm, and collected. Rad, but uh, I am a big fan of people who devote their lives to helping others. And uh, it bothers me when I sometimes see, see there's good and bad in everything in life. Um, but police are here to, to essentially help keep order and make our lives better. And uh, I thank you very much. And it makes me happy you guys watch me, not from wrestling, but from YouTube. YouTube stardom. The YouTube stardom is starting to take over, surpassing the wrestling. That is, that is tremendous. But Rad, thank you very much, my friend. And uh, it is an honor to hear from you. We'll do another. I got, I got a couple fan mail letters here. Um, and this one had a card and everything. I always sign these and send these back, guys, for people. Uh, I've always done that from the beginning uh, because we've got a tremendous fan base, and I'm very grateful for it. Uh, Dear Ryback, my son Camden is five years old, and he's just now getting into wrestling. I showed him you, and he is amazed at how strong you are. I'm sure you're super busy, but if you have the time, please sign the enclosed card to Camden and mail it back in the in the case. It would mean the world to him. Uh, if you have any other cards or memorabilia that you don't want, my son would truly cherish it. Thank you, and God bless from, from Drew. Camden, Camden, I want to make sure I say it correctly, Camden. Hey, buddy, thank you very much. I wouldn't... Uh, advise watching the entire video. I do cuss sometimes. Uh, I believe cuss words are okay. But again, I think it's knowing the setting and where you're at. So now I'm going to have this on my mind that Camden is watching the entire video. But hopefully Camden just watches to the ear. Camden, thank you very much, buddy. I'm going to return and sign your card. I got it back over on the table over there. And I thank you very much. And I'm, I always, that was always my favorite part of pro wrestling. Um, and which it will be once again is, uh, bringing the smiles to the kids' faces. It truly is. It's, and anyone, anyone that's ever seen me perform live will know, and I don't need to, to say anything else about it uh, on the interaction with the kids and, and trying to make sure they have a good time because it sticks with them for the rest of their life. So thank you very much, buddy. And uh, hopefully the big guy will be back to wrestle some matches uh, in the not too distant future. Ryback, me and my son are big fans of yours. He still wishes... Uh, still watches your matches uh, on the WWE Network. He has three of your figures that he has um, matches with still. He hopes you will come back sometime. Can you please send this card for him and return it? He would be so happy. Thank you. And I can't read it because it's cursive on that. But thank you very much. And yes, I will. And I thank you guys for watching and keeping the big guy Ryback alive in the time of healing. And I'm supposed to go back to Bio Accelerator here in April. I think that was the April, May at the latest, but we got to kind of wait and see with everything going on to get my uh, final stem cell procedures and get a, hopefully a mega dose in my shoulder and get this thing. My back's all better, but we're going to go, but we're going to, we're strengthening everything. Just uh bio accelerator has been so good to me. So it's uh, looking forward to getting back down there and seeing everyone and, and, and getting that, 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 those fresh stem cells in me and, uh, Hopefully being able to come back. Which I ultimately, I believe I will. I already, I know I will. I know it. Without a shadow of a doubt. I've been very blessed. Uh, we got some comments we'll do here. Uh, Over the top rope says, Big guy, I'll write a review, but I tried to wake up unlimited energy this morning, and holy crap, I felt good all day. Had the ISO hungry for breakfast and held me over. Recommend the wake up for those trying to stay away from soda diet to try... Or any energy drink out there. Keep it up, right back. Thank you very much, buddy. Feed me more nutrition, man. It's there's uh, it's uh, it's taken off, and I'm very very proud, and uh, I'm very. Uh, it makes me feel good that people are truly enjoying the supplements uh, that have helped me for so long. So, it's uh, I love hearing that. Uh, from Flit Flitcher Flicter Flicter Flitch Flitcher Flicter Flicter. The more Ryback TV I watch, the more I want Ryback back in wrestling on commentary. LOL. Don't get me wrong. I love me some Ryback in the ring, but Jesus Christ, this man is raising his peak with every episode and is absolutely hilarious. 
especially when he starts doing uh, voices or ranting. For the love of God, can we please get this man as a guest commentator for Dark? And he puts someone through a table after Cherry on top. Thank you very much, buddy. No interest in coming back commentating. I have more fun doing this. Uh, my return to pro wrestling is a one-time thing that will be very special. And if not, then I will never do it. And that's, that's it. I've worked too hard for too long. And I know my worth and I know the, uh, I know how fucking loud I can make people react. And, uh, because it's all energy. And, uh, I've said it from day one. You can learn every move in the book. I can learn every move in the book. I know a lot of moves. Energy cannot be taught. That is one thing that I learned a long time ago. Uh, let's see. LOL Leprechaun. Leprechaun! She's instant like thumbs up every time I see Ryback. I feel better. As whenever I'm not myself, I watch you and I feel better. Thank you so much, Ryback. Keep on feeding positivity. I'm doing my best, buddy. I'm doing my best. I like to have a good time. I like to laugh and uh, provide a little bit of entertainment with everything going on. Another great video, Mr. Ryback. Sorry I missed your live stream. Loved watching every second of it. So glad your health is almost back to 100%. Thank you. I look forward to watch every video on your YouTube channel. Always positive. Always a pleasure to watch you, sir. Thank you for everything you're doing. And thank you for watching Jimmy Moore. I uh, I truly appreciate it. I love you guys. And I, and I like your guys' comments. That is me doing that, guys. And I mute a lot of comments that are uh, the negative ones. Because, one, they can still watch the channel. But they don't know that they can't be seen by everybody else. And that, to me, is a very funny thing. When you got the people that like to leave stupid comments. So you're free to. It's just I don't like your mindset. I don't care what you think about me. It's just that you choose to be negative. I'm like, I don't like those that mindset. Muted. Hide from hide user from channel. The greatest YouTube feature of all time. The user could still watch. The user still thinks he's getting one on you, but you never see it. It's a beautiful thing. Go fuck yourself, Jeffrey. Ryback, thoughts on WWE, uh, Alistair Black and Rumors. Love your podcast, big guy. Can't wait to see you back no matter where you go. I'll follow you, brother. You're the man, Ryback. Feed me more. Woo! Thank you for calling me the man. Uh, I do a pretty damn good woo. Man, try that again. That was, I felt like that was really impressive. Sophie Little Guy, do you guys like my woo? Shut the fuck up, dude, you're an asshole. Woo! Well, now I'll do a little pour. What have got time-wise here? We got, oh, we got about six or seven minutes. Try to keep these under 20. I always say that, then it'll be like 48 minutes. I lose track of time. No, we'll, we'll definitely hit this under 20. Robert W., you're being true to yourself and how you portray yourself is what makes me a fan. Thanks so much for being genuine and just playing funny. Thank you very much, Robert. I try. I absolutely try my best. I'm very comfortable in front of a camera and just being myself. And I've learned and evolved from all the reading and Gary Vaynerchuk and people. I, I Man, I've had some great people that have uh, helped shape and mold me as time goes on. And uh, I'm just comfortable being myself. Good or bad, people are going to fucking critique and pick apart things and not like you. And I'm like, well, I know in real life, like pretty much everyone that I meet and hang out with or get along with, it's like, it's a good time. So anyone who doesn't like me just doesn't know me or they think they do and they, they have the wrong interpretation. I think you got to actually hang around someone for a bit. And I feel like we get to do that a little bit here. We get, you get to hang around and get enough information where you know. That if I do make like an egotistical comment from time, because I do from time to time, I'm confident as fuck. I can't help it because it comes from hard work, but I'm also very humble and laid back and try to do. Now that's cocky. Now I'm being fucking cocky. Why can't I just fucking thank you? And thank you for the fucking nice compliment. Okay, Robert. Now you got me fucking bragging. You got me looking now people. I've lost fucking 17 people reading this comment because I got cocky. Went right to my head. These positive comments, guys. This is bad for me. You guys, it goes right to my head. Aquarium fish. I just like how you said how you can show your true side and can turn it on when you need it. It is true. We get to know the real you. Thank you for not being fake. 
Makes me feel better buying stuff you talk about. Thank you for being true to your fans. Thank you very much, Aquarium Fish. And I think he's referring to Feed Me More Nutrition available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. In my podcast conversation with the big guy right back. Be able to podcast. No, thank you very much, man. I, again, that's why this, like, this is the best part of doing this stuff. That's what I hated about wrestling is that they would get like, it, it can't, I don't like that. I, well, it's acting too, in a way, but I was like, you always wanted to try to be as true to, as true to form as possible. And when you got stuff that's just like, man, you guys don't understand. I feel for everyone that works there and like, but I thrive on like my personality. And when I can't control any of that, and I got to just read lines on a paper. There's nothing worse. And there's nothing against the way physically anybody looks. I'm a 300 pound fucking Neanderthal. Do you think, do you think a room full of creative writers understands what it's like being me? And one looking at me and physically being the way that I am, but then two, me here, like you can't, this is like, it, it, there's not a lot of people physically, I feel like that are comfortable doing that. So it's very hard for them to, uh, so they just stereotype you into one little thing because they can't comprehend it because they can't, all they have to do is not do, but the, the, the problem with that is, is they wouldn't be allowed to do their job. It would be, let this guy just go out there and shine. Everyone's going to make way more fucking money from top to bottom doing it. But hey, you don't want to fucking do that. You want them to read. I have an insatiable appetite to destroy and destroy man after man. I'm hungry for more competition. Feed me more. I, I can't wait to show up next week and destroy the competition. I am a robot set from the future and I will destroy everything in my path. Goldberg, you're next. It's fucking stupid. God, there's no, it's just fucking reading stupid lines. All right, moving on. Uh, Ryan Lauren says, that accept accountability comment really woke me up. I've been a bad person in playing victim, even though I'm not the victim. Thank you. That makes me very happy, man. Accepting accountability is the quickest way to overcoming it. Even if it's not your fault, it is your fault. It's the only way to move on. And I've learned that on, on so many different things. Because we can make it our fault if we keep, if we can, if we want to. And it's a good thing. Because then we quit playing the victim. And that's when you, when you quit trying to be a fucking victim, you take power away from everybody else. And the power is with you. And then you have the power to change it. It's a very, very, very powerful mind switch when you're able uh, and feeling when you're able to make that switch in the mind. Mind switch. Uh, Nigel B. Ryback, I want to say thank you. I'm going through depression and health issues. Your videos make me smile and help me to get through my struggles. Thank you very much, Nigel. And uh, man, I get it, man. We're all, I think everyone here, I'm going to be doing more YouTube during all this. Home a lot more. Even though I was home a lot to begin with, but I feel like putting out some content is going to be the way to go. We're all going to be at home. And I think we all just need to laugh and fucking chill out. And, uh, you know, man, I get it. I've been there. I've been there multiple times in my life. And I've, uh, it did various points of success in my life. It never ends. It's just getting this right. And then we learn we can handle things better. But, uh, yeah, man, that was the last comment on that. So I got to try out this last seltzer because I got to do the review now on these guys. What is this though? Clementine Hibiscus? What the fuck was in charge of naming these things? Do you think fucking Jed and fucking Karen in, in Little Rock, Arkansas go into Walgreens, because that's where I got these. And they're gonna let they're gonna what did I say their names were? I can't even remember. Karen and what did I say? Jed? I think I said Jed. Jed and, and fucking Karen. Hey, honey, you want these Bond and Vivs? No! Jay, get those fucking Bud Light Seltzers! Because that's what they recognize, because they come in regular fucking flavors. Clementine hibiscus. You know, how many, who the fuck's going to know what that tastes like? I'm not going to lie, though. It tastes pretty good. Well, 
only 90 calories. One gram of carb, these things sneak up on you guys. They go down so smooth. So we got lime. Wait, I don't even think they could. No, they don't call it lime. We had pear, elderflower. I'm really fucking pissed whoever named these. I'm sure it was fucking someone named Jeffrey. Cranberry, which is in this. And Clementine hibiscus. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Just flavor-wise, I'm going Clementine hibiscus, cranberry, number two, and then uh, pear elderflower, number three. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to do a video with all the seltzers eventually to actually have the flavors and taste them next to each other, maybe doing a little swish of water in between. I'm going to get really fucked up. We're waiting on the stone cold beer still. He's a busy man, so they'll come eventually. And uh, when they do, I'll drink. If you guys want, I know you guys said, if you guys want me to drink all the stone, I, it depends. I don't know how many Steve's going to send me, first of all. That's a huge mistake saying, like, I'm drinking all of them because he might send me 50 of them. We'll, we'll put a limit on it. Maybe we'll do, like, maybe, like, I don't know. I can do 10 of them probably pretty quick. Um, maybe do 10 of the beers. If you guys want to see that, put that in the comments. And hopefully uh, they'll be in. I'm sure they'll be in whatever. Steve wouldn't lie to me. <laughs> Not like Steve. He's busy. But if they were in Vegas, I'd just go buy them. I don't like taking free shit from people. I hate I hate it, actually. I, I truly... It's one of my biggest... The pet peeves with returning your shopping carts, holding the door open for people, uh, re-racking your weights, and uh, and like holding the door for per someone that's like right behind you when you don't do it. You're just being a piece of shit. And, uh, but hey, no judgment. Just, you know, don't be a piece of shit. And... Uh, what's it called, and um, asking for free stuff all the time. To me, that's when your friends don't support your stuff, and like, and I've been on, I've seen it, it's just like, ah, oh, man, that's just not me. Not me at all. I'd rather just save up and buy, buy something to help somebody out. And uh, But yeah, everyone's different on that. That's just my take. So guys, uh, I enjoy, these are good though. These aren't bad. They're, uh, they're, very, they're, they're very similar to the other seltzers. Uh, I can't give a taste comparison to, to the other ones, but I'll give these, I'm going to give these 3.8 stars out of five, 3.8 stars. Uh, they're not horrible, but the flavors, I wish they were a little more straightforward, but I think they're going for a little different thing because of the competition. Bon and Vib sounds a little more like, <laughs> you know, you get it. Hey, Steve, what are you drinking? Damn it, I'm drinking Clementine Hibiscus. Silly. Damn it. All right, guys, that does it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, get hungry, stay hungry. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback available on all podcast platforms click here and for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV click here feed me more